Hey YouTube, I hope you guys are doing well. I was about to go to the range, going later this week, and I realized I didn't have a good target backstop. Anytime I go to a public range, it's not really an issue, but anytime I just go out to somebody's land to shoot, or a long range where you can set a target at any distance you want, I realized I kind of wanted to have my own target backstop, especially for like patterning shotguns where you need to set it at, you know, 30 yards, but there's only a 50 yard board, stuff like that. So I figured, heck, I'll go to Lowe's, pick up some 2x4s, and just build one super fast, super cheap. So that's what we're gonna build right now. Super easy. So a lot of people are probably wondering, well, why don't you just go to Dick's Sporting Goods or Academy and just buy some cheap Chinese steel target stand for like $10? Well, I probably could, and maybe it'd work just fine. Maybe not, but I know that I can definitely just go buy some 2x4s for like $6 total and build it myself and it will definitely work just fine. It always means just a little bit more if you build it yourself. Something I've said in other videos is even if something costs almost the same to do it yourself versus getting somebody else to do it, a lot of times doing it yourself, if you learn something, it's, it's worth doing. We're gonna make this thing three feet tall with a target board of two feet. So this is why you always measure before you cut. I just picked these up at Lowe's and I assumed that, so these were just, you know, regular two by fours. I assume they were two by four by eight nominal, so not exactly two by four, but two by four by eight feet. But I actually measured it instead of 96 inches, it's 92 inches. So I'm gonna need to adjust my sizes just, just a little bit, but that's what you always measure before you cut. I guess 92 inches, I guess that's a standard stud size if you count the header cap um, into the other board. Yeah, I expect it to be 96, but it's 92. Always wear eye pro and ear pro when you're working with power tools. Especially stuff like a noisy chop saw. I do enough shooting and enough loud stuff that, you know, it's already dangerous to your hearing. I don't want to lose my hearing because of a tool like that. Alright, so the way I cut it, I've got uh, two three foot section. Those are going to be kind of the two, you know, vertical supports. I've got two two foot sections. Those are going to go sideways, and that's actually what the target board is going to attach to. Uh, and then I've got two because it was a weird size board. It was that 92 inch stud instead of a full eight foot. I've got two 22 inch sections that are going to be basically the feet that support it and then I cut up that other 22 section to make two kind of angled pieces and that'll brace it all together. So I drilled pilot holes in all the boards that need them basically so I can put wood screws through them and not split the outside of the board so that way it's just slipping right through the outside of the board not splitting it not grabbing it but just grabbing onto the second board. So now it's time to just screw this whole thing together. but it's sure functional. That'll hold up to lots of shotgun and lots of pistol rounds and cost me about $7 and 30 minutes worth of time. So, stuff like this, I think it's almost always worth making yourself. Yeah, you can probably go out and buy something and sometimes you run the, run the risk of spending more on supplies than it would take you to just get one at the store, but you always learn something, you can have fun doing it, and I think it helps build a creative mindset to address you know, other stuff in the future. So, always good to do stuff like this. So, it's my little target display. I'm gonna take it out and shoot it this spring quite a bit. But until next time, stay safe, be free, and never stop seeking adventure.